And what would happen, Madam Witness, if you attempted, you and your group of campaigners, to campaign in these ODM strongholds? They would shout at us. And sometimes we would be forced to get out of their area. You mentioned to us, Madam Witness, uh, incidents that occurred in 2006. Were there any incidents that you could relate to the court that happened in 2007 during your attempts at campaigning for Kibaki? No. And as for the uh, campaigning that you would do uh, within the town center itself, Eldoret Town Center, could you tell us how that would go? Would it go peacefully, or was that, was that fine, as opposed to going out of the area? Some sides, it was okay, but there was another place we campaigned, and it was terrible. What other place would this be, Madam Witness? was around Balngetune area. Madam Witness, if you could, uh, just for the record, I'm not sure that this has been captured, but could you just spell out the area that you've just mentioned to us in testimony? Okay. B A R G E T U N Y Balngetuni. Just so that I can be clear on this, Madam Witness, uh, Bargatuni, is this an area within Eldoret or the greater Eldoret region? Uh, it's an area within. Eldoret Town. Now, Madam Witness, uh, did you attempt to uh, campaign there in Bargatuni at some point? Yeah, we had these big lorries and we would move around the town campaigning. Then when we come on this road, we couldn't pass because we were attacked by ODM members. Can you explain to us what happened exactly? You say that you were attacked. They shouted at us, uh, and it's an, an area where vehicles are being made, like garages, and so they came with hammers and some uh, I think I can sum them as like a uh, hammer and start pumping the lorries, beating the lorries. Okay, so from what I understand of your, your testimony, it's they started, these individuals, ODM, so members came pumping, I imagine you mean strike at the lorry yeah. with their hammers, is that correct? Yeah, yes. Now, once again, you're using uh, the term ODM members. Uh, could you help us with the ethnicity of these people that uh, were striking at the lorry? Okay. That area, it's mixed, but the majority are rules. rules. Were there other ethnic groups involved? I couldn't. I couldn't tell. I'm just going to ask you, Madam Witness, just uh, take your time and wait until I've asked my question and wait a couple of seconds so that we can facilitate things for the interpreters. And sometimes it's my fault. Thank you, Madam Witness. Now, Madam Witness, um, immediately prior to the uh, election day, which I understand was the 27th of December. Uh, was there any campaigning done part in, in the month of December 2007? No.
And can you tell us uh, about uh, how were the relations between the different ethnic groups uh, immediately preceding the, the elections in the month, in the month of December 2007? Surely there was no problem between the groups and the people. And can you tell the court when the problem started? Uh, after the voting and maybe the, the coming few days after the voting that where the problem started. I'm going to ask the court uh, if I could go into private session for a minute or two. Very brief. Um, let's go into private session. The court officer, we are in public session, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Gizia. Please proceed. Now, Madam Witness, you mentioned Brookside Dairy. Uh, can you tell us, uh, you mentioned actually a problem at Bookside Dairy. Can you tell us exactly what was this problem about? Um, there was some rumors that there had been stolen, uh, stolen electric, election papers and they are being hidden at the Brookside. And just so we can be clear uh, on this matter, uh, the stolen, uh, I understand that there were rumors, but these stolen election papers, they would have related, uh, who, who would have been hiding, or why were they being hidden at Brookside Dairy? If you can explain that to us, best of your recollection. Uh, they thought the P PNU supporters had stolen ballot papers and they are hiding them at the Brookside Dairy. Now, just to be even more clear, when you say they thought they thought that the uh, PNU uh, supporters had stolen ballot papers, who are you referring to when you're speaking about they? The PNU supporters. I'm sorry, Madam Witness, maybe I wasn't clear. Yeah, um, who, who was it that thought that PNU uh, members had stolen the ballot papers? Okay, the ODM supporters. Thank you, Madam Witness. Uh, now, can you tell me where these rumors were coming from? Do you have knowledge on that? No. And due to the fact that the uh, ODM supporters thought that the PNU supporters had stolen ballot papers and hiding them, what happened, according to the information you had at the uh, Brookside Dairy? They threatened to burn down the dairy. Now, once again, when you're saying they... Uh, did you say they returned to burn down the dairy? Is that? The ODM supporters threatened to burn down the dairy. I, th I think that's threatened and not returned, if I'm, I'm correct. Threatened, is that the word you use? Because I'm seeing returned here, but I'm, I'm hearing you say threatened. Is that correct? Yeah. And from the information you obtained, Madam Witness, did they indeed... 